Last summer, I got to visit the Sioux Locks. I found out why they're important and how they work. Shipping freight on water is the oldest form of transporting bulk goods. In 18th century America, it would cost more to move a ton of goods 50 miles over land than it would to ship it by water all the way to Europe. Even today, shipping by water remains a critical and heavily used transport mode. There are a lot of factors that come into play on shipping choices, but one typical study shows this cost comparison. To move one ton of cargo one mile would cost the following. By airplane, it would cost $4.36. Look, Dad, Elvis! Nothing happened. By truck, 37 cents. By train, it's 3 cents. I love trains. By ship, only one cent. It's easy to see why shipping on water is important. On our trip, we visited Lake Superior, Lake Michigan, and Lake Huron. They kind of look like this. Lake Michigan and Lake Huron actually connect right here at the Mackinac Bridge. On the west side is Lake Michigan, and on the east side is Lake Huron, so it's easy for ships to pass back and forth. Lake Superior is connected to Huron by the St. Mary's River. This 75-mile river may seem like a natural ship shipping path, there is only one problem. The St. Mary's Rapids. You see, Lake Huron is 21 feet lower than Lake Superior. That elevation drop on the river takes place over a section of rapids that blocks ship traffic. Anything bigger than a canoe can't make it down the rapids, and ships can't sail uphill. The Sioux locks were built to let ships get around the rapids and allow them to travel back and forth between, between Superior and Huron. Let me show you how they work. This is a cutaway mock-up of one of the Sioux locks. This is the water level of Lake Superior and this is the water level of Lake Huron. This is the upper gate. This is the lower gate. This is the fill valve. This is the emptying valve. Note that there are no water pumps. Gravity moves all of the water, allowing it to seek its own level. This is what a gate looks like open. This is what a gate looks like when closed. This is what a valve looks like open. This is what a valve looks like when closed. Here's our ship. Let's see how it gets lowered from Lake Superior to Lake Huron. First, the ship sails into the lock. Then the upper gate and the filling valve are closed. The emptying valve then opens the and water begins draining out of the bottom of the log and into the lower St. Mary's River. Once the water level in the lock is the same as the water on the downstream side of the lock, the lower gate can be opened and the ship can sail through. From here, it's about a nine-hour trip down the river into Lake Huron. 
a ship traveling the opposite direction would then sail into the lock. The lower gate and the emptying valve would then close. With both gates closed, opening the filling valve can now fill the lock. Once the water level has raised to the height of Lake Superior, the, op the upper gate can open and the ship can sail on through. This is what the actual upper gate looks like when it is opening. It is about to let ships go, go through on to Lake Superior. It takes between 30 and 60 minutes to pass through one of the Sioux locks. This cycling back and forth happens more than 7,000 times from late March to mid-January, with seven to 10,000 vessels passing through each year. Some of the ships are just over 1,000 feet long. Grain, coal, stone, and iron ore are just some of the products that get shipped through the locks. In total, about 86 million metric tons of goods pass through each year. A 2018 report estimated that $6 billion worth of cargo go through annually, or about $20 million worth a day. Boats aren't the only things that pass through. Sometimes fish do, too, though they prefer the natural route of the rapids. More locks on the Great Lakes and St. Lawrence Seaway let ships travel all the way from Duluth, Minnesota to the Atlantic Ocean, a 2,300-mile trip that takes about nine days. The Poe Lock is the biggest Sioux lock. It takes 22 million gallons of water to fill it. That is 33 Olympic-sized swimming pools. The MacArthur Lock is the one closest to the shore and it's about half that size. It takes about 30 minutes to pass through, and it handles both recreational and commercial vessels. Construction of an additional large Sioux lock began in 2009 and is scheduled to be complete in 2030. This will create much needed additional capacity. The Visitor Center is a great place to visit. It has information on the history of the locks, lots of interesting facts, and an observation deck to watch the locks in action. It also has a hands-on model so you can better understand how the locks work and a simulation operator's console so you can try your hand at operating the locks. Boat tours are another popular way to experience the Sioux locks. It's a great place to visit, but be prepared, prepared for heavy security. As you can tell, these impressive feats of engineering are very important and they take protecting them seriously. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Sioux Locks. Please give this video a like and a comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do.